Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella. Today I want to hop on here and share with you some finished objects that I have. I finished five, six, seven, eight of them. <laughs> and then I'll show you two whips that I've been working on. Um, just because I need to put them up. I need to put them in like the bags and stuff that they need to go in until I'm ready to pull them out again for the holidays. So therefore, anyways. So first I'm going to show you the two bunnies. I did already, I've showed you the bunnies a few times, but I finally finished their uh, features. So this is a free pattern. It's called Funny Bunny by Carrie Reynolds. And it is free on Ravelry. It's a Ravelry PDF download. And she has a bunch of different ones. But these are the two for the babies. So I finished their little faces. I just kind of stitched on some eyes. And a nose. <laughs> they're not amazing, but I think they're cute. And the babies won't care. Because they're babies. <laughs> so I got these ones done for Easter, which is coming up. And I'll link all the patterns below that I talk about. And then the next things that I got done were my Halloween projects for um, March. I'm missing one. I'm missing one. Which one am I missing? I can't find it. Okay, I must have left it on the bed or in the living room. Anyways, I made um, eyeballs. Eyeball and our gummies for my trick-or-treaters. <laughs> um, we don't have that many around here. So uh, last year I crocheted just a few things, little ghosts. And then I decided this, for this year I want to make three... Uh, crochet amigurumis a month for just for the purpose of putting out for trick treaters this year so uh this is marches and i did make three i just it's not down here on the floor i must have left it in the living room <laughs> i thought i grabbed them all but i made um yeah it's the yellow one i made one with an orange uh iris a green iris and a yellow iris so here's the <laughs> green and orange one <laughs> um and they're just balls with uh this part sewn on it's like the pupil and the iris and then you just stitch on like um you know the blood veins from a bloodshot eyeball <laughs> that's all it is super easy pattern so um, i did make three for trigger triggers i just it's either on the bed still or in the living room or i dropped it on the, in the floor on the way in here but um so i made three of those for the halloween trigger triggers and this is called creepy cute eyeballs by crochet by danielle ray and it's also um I don't think it's PDF. I think it goes to the website, so I'll link. I'll link the website down below. But there's the two that I made for Halloween, plus I made one with the yellow um, iris. I just don't know where it's at. And then Jesse ended up, he's seen them and he wanted some. So, and right now his favorite, his current favorite color is purple. He loves everything purple. So he wanted me to make him two eyeballs with purple irises. And he also wanted, like, red strings coming out the back to look like, you know, like... <laughs> eyes that have come out of your someone's head so here's his purple eyes and i just put some uh, yarn and kind of knotted them a little bit and he's been playing with them he likes them so that is jesse's little eyes that i made for him to play with because he wanted some eyeballs too but uh, his current favorite color is purple he changes it all the time but right now for the last month or so it's been purple <laughs> he's been getting in one and everything purple so um there's his eyes <laughs> So, I gotta find that other eyeball. Oh, well. I'll find it later. And then, my next finished object, we went to my mom's on Sunday. And we had like a, it's like a Thanksgiving dinner. Uh, she had a turkey in her freezer that she needed to cook to use up. So, she made the turkey and some sides. And I made some sides. And then, my sister came and brought a cake. And then, my brother showed, you know, came too. And we all just had, you know, we were all just there. And it was basically like a Thanksgiving dinner. Uh, just, it was just a random Sunday. And we actually decided that we're going to start doing that every other week. Every other Sunday. So that, that, that's the, every other weekend is when all the husbands and all that are off of work and can all go together. Um, so we're going to start doing that. But anyways, I was there and in her kitchen, uh, she had, um, a crochet plastic bag holder that I made her years ago. And it's really narrow. It's like really skinny and like that long, like a, like the size of a Pringles can maybe. Um. And I was like, that's really small. I need to make her another one. So I came home um, that day and I started it Monday night or Sunday night and finished it Monday morning. And I made her the same one that I have hanging in my background in my kitchen. Some some videos you can see it. It's purple. I've had it since we've lived here. I think I made it right after we moved in. But uh, it's, it's a free pattern and it is a free PDF from Ravelry. So I'll link it below. And um, it's like one of my go-tos now for... Um, plastic bag holders it's super easy and quick pattern and it's big so you can hold a lot of bags 
but it's called the Jim, and it's Jim like a G-E-M, bag holder by Dawn McIntyre, and I'll link it below. But I made hers. I just pulled out some cream color yarn because she has like a country kitchen. <laughs> so um, down here's the bottom where you would pull bags out. And then it's like a little mesh sections and solid sections. And up here is where you would stuff bags in and hang it up. And uh, it gets pretty big. Mine, <laughs> I can stuff a lot of those bags in there. Um, so you just fill it full of plastic bags and then you just pull them out as you need them. Uh, so I made this for her. I gotta take it to her and drop it off. But I think it, I like it. I love this pattern. It's super quick. Like, it's, it's like almost a mindless project. Um, you increase a little bit and then you... There's a repeat that you do, and you can do it as many times as you want to make the bag as big as you want. Or you can just make this um, solid section wider if you want to make it longer, you know. And uh, I like it a lot. I think it's pretty cool. And uh, I suggest this pattern if you want to give someone like a... What is it called? I'm trying to think of the gift name. You know, when someone gets a new house or apartment and you want to give them some stuff for the new house and apartment. <laughs> I forgot what it's called. But this would be a cute uh, thing to give them. Maybe even with some plastic bags already in it, uh, or like craft fairs and stuff. Uh, my friend Phyllis, she makes them the same pattern and um, sells them at craft fairs. And I like making it a lot. So, I don't know. She suggested, Phyllis did, that I make some and put them in my Etsy shop and see if anyone wants to buy them. And I might do that eventually because I do like making them. I just don't have anyone really to give them to. But, uh, so this is a really cool pattern. I definitely suggest you checking this out. I think I used an H hook on it, which is 5 millimeter. Um... And it just flies right along. This is a burst of white yarn. This is actually Red Heart. I think it's Erin. Red Heart Erin. Just like an off-white cream color. I thought it would be nice in my mom's kitchen. So I gotta give that to her the next time I visit her or she visits me. Alright, and now my two whips that I have currently. I got a lot of things that I want to start. But I need to... I don't like having too much things going at once. But I do like... Usually I like to have like a big mindless project. Like a blanket going. And then just fill in time with little things. I don't have any big projects going right now, so I need to start something. <laughs> I just don't know what. Uh, so my first whip is this. It looks like a mitten. <laughs> it's a hand puppet, or it will be. It is called Little C's Hand Puppet by Jenny Designs, and it is free pattern on the website. I'll link it below. It's a little big. I think I probably could have went down to hook size. I think I used H also for this, a 5 millimeter. I probably should have used a G, but this is just a more suited way. Um, Premier Just Yarn from the Dollar Tree I had laying around left over. And uh, so I got the whole body done, except I do got to make the cuff. Because you're supposed to use like a contrasting color. And I thought about using just the pink, but I did, I did want to use the contrasting color. So I'm going to make this one look like a dog. So I want to make big floppy dog ears, like a hound dog or something, out of the this color pink. And then I want to make the nose and the cuff out of a different color. I have it figured out. Maybe brown, because brown and pink goes good together. And there's a tongue pattern that I was going to make out of like pink or red or something. And then eyeballs. And the pattern has flat eyes, um, like crocheted circles, you know. And then they also have like 3D eyes, like little balls. I think I'll do the 3D ones because they're cuter. And you could also use felt or buttons or anything like that. But um, it's slowly coming along. I do wish it was a little bit smaller. But this would be good for Devin. Devin can play. There's an end in there. I thought I wove them all in, but I feel one. <laughs> uh this would fit Devin's hand probably better than mine. I do have small hands, but uh, I don't think the kids will care. Jesse was already excited when he saw, he seen it and he was like, is that a puppet? And I was like, it will be. <laughs> and he was already getting excited about it. So, um, I think it's going to be cute. <laughs> but, um, and then if I, if I do decide to make another one, I'm going to probably go down to hook size. And so it's a little bit tighter on my hand and easier for me to control. And depending on how June likes it, um, I might make a couple more different little animals just to play with, you know, and sing little songs. And when she gets a little bit older, get her used to, you know, the same alphabets and stuff. Um, just things like that. So that's that. I'm, I'm looking forward to putting him together. <laughs> and uh, I was trying to use up a lot of this yarn. I used up one, it's like a half skein maybe of this yarn that I had left over. And then I have another one that's like a half used up one that I, I had to dip into on the, the mouth part. So I'll be using that for the ears and I'll probably still have some left over. But I'm just trying to use up some of the yarns that I have had in my stash forever. Um, I hate that I buy some yarns, you know, years ago. I haven't bought yarn in a while. I did actually buy some. I'll talk about it in just a second. Um, I buy it and then it sits around forever. You know, it's kind of pointless. I don't get it. But uh, I've been doing good. Last year I only bought some amethyst yarn for a project. And this year I bought some yarn the other day that I showed that was like um, 
a good peachy beige color <laughs> for uh my idea was for um amigurumis like dolls and things so and then i did have to buy some yarn yesterday for a amigurumi that i'm making for my brother because i didn't have the right color but anyways this is the puppet getting there it's getting there so the yarn i had to buy for my brother's project is a pokemon and it's called trubbish and if i can think about it i'll put up a picture and it is a trash bag <laughs> pokemon so uh it's one of his favorites so he wanted an amigurumi of it and it's a free pattern by heart and flight crochet they have a ton of pokemon patterns so if you know anybody who likes pokemon or if you like pokemon uh definitely check out their blog i think it's like a um blog spot is it still called that blogger <laughs> whatever it's called um websites and they got just pages and pages uh that i saw that i looked through and so the yarn that i had to buy is red heart medium time my Walmart only had one ball of it and i needed two because this project is made with holding two strands of worsted weight together to make it you know thick and sturdy and i didn't know if one ball would be enough you know if i worked from both strings both the one that comes out the middle and the one that's wrapped around you know i didn't know if that would be enough so i wanted to get two so my sister's walmart uh had like four or five of them so we went there and i went ahead and got two and uh, i started on it last night i think and i just barely got to work on it because of the baby mostly she keeps needing me <laughs> so i got the bottom of it <laughs> this is like the base i think i got one more increase row and then i'll be doing some shaping and then decreasing it and it's actually gonna be a lot smaller than i thought it was gonna be so i think one ball would have been um sufficient uh from the pictures i guess it's just because it was a close-up picture i thought it was gonna be a little bit bigger than this but uh, i'm okay with that and i'm using a g hook which this one is a g2 or whatever it's the uh 4.5 i think like a regular g is just four millimeter uh, this one's 4.5 it's called it's also called a us7 um hook and uh, I got my little pump on there, <laughs> but I'm slowly chugging away on it. I, um, there's a little, it's making an oval as you can tell. So that it's not just easy, you know, regular increases where you do the same thing over and over. It's, it's, you go straight and then you increase and it's just different. But, uh, I do like the way it's going to look. It looks a lot like the Pokemon's supposed to. So I got to make it to the body. <laughs> and I think it's got like a little thing up top, look like a, the tied part of a bag. It's got little feet. And then it's little arms is like trash coming out of the bag. <laughs> so I'm going to make that out of, um, actually this kind of learn yarn, uh, Red Heart Aaron, I think. <laughs> and then the arms have like little spots of trash on them. So I just, I think they're pink and blue. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to make the body and then do all that other stuff. So that's coming along kind of, <laughs> it's getting there. But, uh, so that's everything I've been working on. I made all those eyeballs and finished those two bunnies all in one sitting uh, while watching Discovery Plus <laughs> murder shows. Um, I call them murder shows. It's true crime shows. Yeah. But uh, I made all five of these in one time. <laughs> and they're actually really quick patterns. Pop up really quick. Uh, I hate doing embroidery faces. I need to do it more so I can get better at it. But um, I prefer to use the safety eyes any day. But these are for babies. So I didn't want to give them safety eyes because even though they're called safety eyes they're not actually that safe for kids like under three and jesse never did chew a lot when he was a baby but june does she chews on everything and the other baby <laughs> that the other one's going to does too <laughs> so um i thought i'd better go the safety safest route possible and put in stitched on the eyes but uh yeah so i did get one little piece of happy meal and i also have one that was in the truck for a long time let me see it came February 24th, so it's been in the, out there for a month. <laughs> I did mention it in a video, and then I just kept forgetting to get it out of the truck. Uh, but it's a postcard from Barbara. <laughs> so there it is. It's got a glare on it. It's got flamingos, and it says, We have a leg up. We're in Florida. <laughs> so, ah, uh, sorry, Barbara. <laughs> that took me so long for that. And then I also just got a thank you card from someone that I sent something to, and they sent me a thank you card, and it's just a little card. It just says, uh, happy spring and then the notes inside of it but um yeah i think that's just about everything i want to share now tomorrow is wednesday so i'm hoping to be able to hop back on again and do a watch work on a wednesday the baby just woke up i heard her but devin's in there um so i'll either show some more of the trubbish <laughs> uh hopefully progress i'm hoping to work on it tonight some more and if not maybe i'll start a new project who knows because i do have some more amigurumis that i want to start and i would like to start like a 
she's crying like a blanket pattern but i'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up and go in there and help him with her and i will see you guys in another video bye guys